Hello dear viewers and welcome to a new episode of Games and Names. Our sport for this episode is the sport of basketball and our featured star guest is a former uh, player of the Egypt national women's basketball team and uh, current member of Azhur uh, Sporting Club Committee, Captain Nayra Yusuf. Basketball is a team sports in which two teams, most commonly of five players each, opposing one another on a rectangular court, compete with the primary objective of shooting a basketball approximately 9.4 inches or 24 centimeters in diameter through the defender's hoop, a basket of 18 inches or 46 centimeters and a diameter mounted 10 feet or 3.048 meters high to a backboard at each end of the court while preventing the opposing team from shooting through their own hoop. A field goal is worth two points unless made from behind uh, what is called the three-point line, then it's obviously worth three points. After a foul time, play stops and the player fouled or designated to shoot a technical foul is given one or more one-point free throws. The team with the most points at the end of the game wins, but if regulation play expires with a score tied, an additional period of play, overtime, is mandated. There are no draws or ties in basketball. Players advance the ball by bouncing it while walking or running, dribbling or by passing uh, uh, to a teammate, both of which require considerable skill. On offense, players may use a variety of shots, the layup, the jump shot or dunk. On defense, they may steal the ball from a dribbler, intercept passes, or block shots. Either offense or defense may collect a rebound that is missed a shot that bounces from rim or backboard. It is a violation uh, to lift or drag one's pivot foot without dribbling the ball, to carry it, or to hold the ball with both hands, then resuming dribbling. The five players on each side fall into the five playing positions. The tallest player is usually the center. The tallest and strongest is the power forward. The slightly shorter but more agile player is the small forward. And the shortest players or the best ball handlers are the shooting guard and the player who implement the coach's game plan by managing the execution of offensive and defensive plays. Informally, players may play three-on-three, two-on-two, or one-on-one. -on -one. Invented in 1891 by Canadian-American gym teacher James Naismith in Springfield, Massachusetts in the U.S., basketball has evolved to become one of the world's most popular and widely viewed sports. My name is Nayra Muhammad. I'm an ex-basketball player. Um, sport is very important for me, but basketball is something special. Uh, I started playing basketball since I was uh, seven years. Um, the, 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 reason, the main reason of why I joined pas basketball is uh, my mom and dad, but mainly mom and grandma because they were basketball players. I played basketball uh, at El Zuhur Sports Club. Uh, all my childhood was uh, was uh, there, um, which was uh, full of achievements and uh, competitions. Uh, every time we uh, won, uh, we were very happy about it, and every time we lose, we were sad because a Zuhur club lost. Uh, after all, I didn't like to play in any other club because all my loyalty goes to Zuhur club. At first, I joined uh, my school's uh, national team. Uh, and this uh, gave me lots of experience because of the friction uh, to, to games. And then um, I, gain, I gain more marks and raise my percentage. Uh, this is very important for, uh, for me and for any other athlete uh, to join um, the, 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 the university that I wanted. I joined the uh, Faculty of Arts English Department in Shams University. And then for the second time, I joined the college team. Um, 
it gave me a chance to visit um, a lot of colleges around Egypt uh, to play uh, lots of matches and, uh, and during these days uh, there were um, lots of uh, uh, international universities that came to Egypt to, to for competitions so I experienced it national and, and uh, international uh, games that I have never thought I would. Then I got selected uh, to join the Egyptian national team. Uh, I kept playing till I got married and had kids. Um, so um, uh, that made me always close to the court because um, my kids play basketball. Plus I'm a member of a uh, sports committee at Zuhur Sports Club headed by Dr. Mohamed Demirdesh, uh, the chairman of uh, Zuhur Sports Club. The rules of the game completely changed since the day uh, I used to play as uh, I, consider, um, I, I consider basketball is a very elegant game uh, because it depended on brain work more than uh, muscular strength. Um, uh, for me, uh, any touch away from the ball considered as observed as a foul, but nowadays wha what I see from the referees, uh, they don't count fouls unless it's a disaster, which makes the basketball games very, uh, very aggressive. Uh, but what I will say is that maybe because this is what transferred to us from uh, the international top games and the competitions. The way of judging, uh, I found out that there, uh, there are a lot of, uh, or uh, there are a big youth base that uh, has the chance to be referees uh, with the help of uh, the courses and the workshops that afforded by the Egyptian uh, Basketball Federation. Um, and we noticed that some of the referees becomes international uh, referees and now they are judging in, uh, in, in international competitions, which is something very proud for Egypt by participating in uh, one of the most important games around the world. The ways of training in basketball divided into several phases and in each phase it has a different program. Uh, I'm going to talk about, um, I'm going to give you a little brief about each phase. Uh, they are three phases by the way, the off-season, pre-season and in-season. Let's start with the off-season. In this season, uh, the players or the basketball players are supposed to uh, take a break and take rests um, almost for eight weeks. Uh, and then they are they have to uh, discuss what they made in the previous competition or the previous uh, season uh, and then evaluate themselves uh, um, so they can begin to start their strength workout uh, as for the next uh, phase uh, it's the pre-season um, it's a good time for um, for making strength trainings and to increase their skills in the court um, and the athlete should uh, rebalance their bodies um, to uh, reducing uh, to reduce any uh, any injury. The last phase is the uh, in season, and after the preparation and the hard work, uh, now they are fit for the game. Uh, so um, and also because of the new level of fitness uh, in the court, um, uh, their skills will increase. 
um, the, the, the goal of the in season is to maintain what uh, they have developed in the pre season. Considering the, uh, national, uh, uh, the national basketball players, there are lots of them, and I, I don't want to mention names not to forget any of them, but the one that has to be mentioned is Suraya Muhammad, and for the young uh, uh, player, um, Janal Alfi. Uh, I like her way of uh, playing, but I will be a little biased uh, for my sports club uh, because, honestly, there are lots of uh, talented players there, uh, and there, there, there is a promising future ahead of them. Um, for example, uh, Jana Said, Maya Said, Mariam, uh, Layla, uh, a lot of under, uh, under 18 girls and under 16, under 14, lots of them. There are a lot of uh, different standards that uh, should be followed uh, by, uh, during selecting of uh, the national basketball player. Uh, the selection of basketball player uh, is a process based on uh, the analysis of the individual uh, and uh, 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 taking into account their physical, technical, uh, mental fitness, uh, tactical, the development of their personality and social skills. Uh, it's very important to use effective uh, tools to, uh, for, uh, for, uh, for their thinking uh, skills. Uh, 
self confidence, motivation, attitude towards work. Uh, I believe that the expertise and the coaches uh, select the best players uh, in the best teams and, uh, and clubs, uh, not only by their physical uh, abilities, but also by their uh, mental uh, qualities to, to reach the good performance for each of the athletes. Actually, the rules of uh, men and women in basketball uh, are identical, uh, but uh, one of the major differences between them is uh, in the professional uh, NBA men, basketball uh, use basketballs uh, that measure 29.5 uh, inches. As for the, the international uh, WNBA, uh, basketballs use uh, basketball players use uh, 28.5 point, uh, point inches. It's also the playing style in the men and women uh, league also differs. Uh, as uh, we can expect in the professional NBA uh, for men, uh, more dunks and more scoring. Uh, but in the professional WNBA, uh, we are expecting uh, more layups and less scoring. Uh, as for uh, there is another thing which is uh, which is difference between both of them is the popularity of the game itself, uh, um, um, especially the uh, especially connecting to the television rating and the number of the people who attended the game. As we said that there is a criteria that should be followed uh, for selecting the talented basketball players but if we wanted to talk about the characteristics of the players that should uh, have I think that um, everybody has the chance and has the right uh, to try it if he like to. 
Um, back then, people who have no idea about uh, basketball or never experienced it uh, before, uh, they think that the, the, the it's very important uh, for the player to be tall in, in order to, uh, to, uh, to participate to this game. But the, the research and, uh, and what we can see now in the international competitions, uh, some of uh, the famous international basketball players are uh, short, or I don't want to, to say short, but they are average uh, and they are very famous. Uh, for example, uh, um, Stephen Curry, uh, Chris Paul, in fact, it demands a lot of things to prepare uh, youth or junior basketball players, starting with the coach himself. He has to have uh, teaching skills, uh, positive teaching skills, uh, knowledgeable, patience, uh, and um, also respectful. Uh, during his training days, uh, he has to uh, to have a target, not only uh, which is not only the victory, because it's very important at this age uh, that their training uh, has to ha ha has to be uh, fun, uh, successful. Uh, basics and fundamentals should take place in each training, and uh, also um, uh, he can uh, teach life lessons during his practices, which is something very important important for the kids and I would like to take the opportunity to thank the uh, Egyptian Basketball Federation headed by Dr. Magdi Abu Freikha uh, because of the coach uh, because of the courses and uh, the workshops that afforded for the coaches and for the basketball family uh, to enhance the the game um, and and I'm sure that the game now started to uh, to be uh, uh, participated in a very uh, and, and in a very important and uh, big international competitions. Uh, another thing which has to be mentioned is the opening of the NBA African uh, office in Egypt, headed by uh, Mr. Mohamed Abdul Muttalib. Uh, they have a lot of plans uh, and one of the most uh, plan that I, I'm very um, excited to hear about it is to make schools competitions and championships to select the talented players uh, to give them uh, scholarships to, uh, to the states. <laughs>
think it's a very good thing that our Egyptian national team participated in the Mondial or the World Cup, uh, which is something uh, very honorable representation for Egypt. Uh, and by the way, their performance wasn't bad at all. Uh, and I think it's really good thing for us uh, after such long absence.